Hello everybody, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I am here to do the a general reading for the Gemini. This is going to be for the week beginning today and then ending on the 16th. Okay, so um, this is this one's going to be a little bit different. Okay, it's going to be a five card spread. And so right now, um, we're working towards a full moon. And we're at we're at the waxing crescent phase, which is really very good for protection, blockage, manifestation of what you want. Um, this is a very powerful time for manifestation. Okay, um, so card number one. This reading is going to be a little bit different. Again, this is going to be about letting go of the past. Okay, sometimes our past is what is slowing us down and blocking our progress. I mean, it could be a past life. It could be, you know, lots of different scenarios. So, again, this reading is not going to resonate with all of you. I do provide personal readings. I do offer personal readings as well as other spiritual services. Um, check out my website. And make sure that you subscribe for the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. And I also have other giveaways that are going to be coming up. So, card number one is going to be what you need to get rid of. What you need to throw away. Okay. Um, card number two is what you need to block. Okay, what is blocking you? Okay, um, card number three is what action you need to take. Card number four is what you need to avoid all together. And then card number five is what you need to accept. All right, so I'm just going to shuffle. And I should get this get through this really, really quickly. I'm not going to try to guess every freaking possibility because... <laughs> These cards mean so many different things. Um, so it really depends on an individual situation. Okay. Um, all right, Gemini. So again, this is going to be for today, starting today, May the 9th through May the 16th, 2016. All right, wonderful. So this is really interesting, Gem Gemini. Your first card is the Four of Cups. So this is what you need to discard. This is what you want to throw away. So the Four of Cups symbolizes someone unhappy, apathetic, just completely shut off, disconnected from any emotion. The Cups is about the emotion. So you're disconnected from your emotions. You've got money. You know, I can see that. And it may not necessarily be money. It may be some sort of security. You know, you've got things in your life, but you just don't appreciate them. You don't appreciate the emotional support that you have. You refuse to pay any attention. Um, and so you're just really throwing it all away. You don't really care much about life. And it's funny because if you look up the four of cups, you know, for the I'm using the deviant moon tarot again. Here's this crescent moon in the background. So. Um, this is something you need to discard. This attitude has to go. Okay. Otherwise, um, this is what's standing in the way of your happiness, of you manifesting your happiness. Okay. And so this is really not good. Um, this is somebody that really, um, it's apathy is so insidious. I mean, you're bored, you're disappointed, you're dissatisfied, you know, you're constantly reevaluating, you know, you've probably got some anxiety. And I think that it may have something to do with a water sign. I'm going to be honest with you because the cups card, there is a lot of evaluation that you need to do. And you need to not be afraid to move forward. Instead, fear becoming overly content. Seek new paths in order to progress on new levels. You're frustrated with your own life. And you're sort of, you know, it's this focal point. If you notice, this person is um, only throwing one cup over. So not only that, it seems like to me that you're throwing people under the bus. You're throwing people away that, that, that are, you know... Um, you know, you're just really, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a foundation of evil for it to show up as your first card. And um, so we'll move on to card number two. What is blocking you? You got the ace of swords. So what is blocking you is your ability to see the truth, your ability to accept reality. 
of your life. The Ace of Swords is about new beginnings. Okay? Success, triumph. But when you get it in the block field, what is blocking you? This is your lack or your inability to do this. Okay, this is your lack or inability to see yourself, to see self and self-evaluate. You're constantly evaluating other people, not yourself. So you need to block that energy because that energy can really be a lot of different things. It can be a spirit. It can be a ghost. It can be a past event. It can be a past life memory that you're ignoring because you refuse to pay attention to your spirituality, which is self. And you really think it's all about money. You don't care about, you know, the evil that you do. Okay? When you get this Four of Cups. You know, people that are apathetic are very, very difficult to deal with. So, with the Ace of Swords, what you need to block is the inability to triumph and overcome this mental block. You have a mental block that you need to get rid of. Um, card number three is how you need to proceed and you got the nine of pentacles so it looks like you're almost at the finish line okay but this is the one thing that's blocking you if you notice the nine of pentacles this is about personal growth you can see the crescent moons going up the person's dress you know this is a male or a female obviously but then there's there's a chain around this person. So there's definitely something holding you back. What's holding you back um, is your ability to complete things, your ability to finish things. You tend to run away from situations. And, and the cards are telling you this twice. Okay? Um, you It's just this, you know, there's so many blessings waiting for a lot of you Geminis, it looks like. And you're blocking your own blessing. Okay, so stop blocking your blessing and do the work that it's required. You know, the nine is a step up from the eight. I think you know that it's going to require work, hard work. Um, the eight is when you're working. The nine is when you're sitting back and you're, you know, you're waiting for that completion. You know, it's the number right before the ten. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is also about abundance and financial security, okay? So, this is something that you really need to think about, okay? And, you know, there's going to be new challenges. You're going to be forced into uh, dealing with this void. There's a void in your life, okay? Now, card number four is what you need to avoid altogether, and you did get the Ace of Wands, so this could mean many different things. Uh, t top of the list is you need to stay away from sex and physical activity. And you also need to stop. It, it seems like to me the Ace of Wands. Okay, let me tell you about the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is all about children. So maybe you need to, some of you men, maybe you need to stop thinking about having children. You're not ready. You're not there. Your mental perception for some of you is not quite where it needs to be. And you're trying to create, but you're putting the wrong seed in your creation. So, for the Ace of Wands to come up to tell you to avoid it, you would think that a negative card would come up here, but this is not that kind of reading. Um, you know, this is more of a subconscious type of, you know, kind of wake up and smell the coffee. So, the Ace of Wands is telling you, you need to avoid, you know, um, creation on a... On a, on a level of, you know, um, breeding children, okay? So if you are a Gemini woman, you might want to hold off this week. You might be, you might get pregnant this week. So be careful. For the men, the same thing. Um, so, you know, unless it's something that you really want, which, you know, judging by the other cards, you know, you don't really appreciate things the way that you probably want to. You wish that you could. Um, your final card, Gemini, card number five is what to accept. What you are going to have to accept, you got the Eight of Cups, is that you run from situations. You run. You run from responsibility. You run from your own emotions. You run from everything, from all responsibility. That's what the Eight of Cups is about. This is about, es you know, escaping um, this can also mean some sort of, you know, um, drug addiction, alcohol addiction for some of you. 
Um, you, you're using drugs and alcohol as an escape. And the drugs and alcohol, it's not going to do any good. It's actually going to cause more negative spirits to come in. Okay, so this is about abandonment, of avoiding changes in lifestyle. So you, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of different things. Either some of you Geminis have abandoned your responsibilities or it can mean that you are going to abandon a lifestyle that no longer receives, you know, um, and, and this is a personal development card. You're going to have to. This is what you cannot avoid and this is what you have to accept. Otherwise, things are not going to get better. And the void is going to get bigger. Um, if you want a personalized reading, check me out on my website. This video is brought to you by thedivinemommy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week. Bye.